So using PNG images uh, works a little bit different. So smiley.p, I'm gonna load the smiley.png and at this stage uh, it has width of 450 and the height of 450 and it is a PNG so it has an alpha value so RGBA but it still won't work and yes Python has stopped working close the program so I'm gonna comment out this line <coughs> and create another image underscore data variable and now we are gonna set it to image dot convert image dot convert uh, RGBA RGBA and two bytes two bytes so now it should work yes but uh, the image is upside down so we need to flip it so before converting the image I'm gonna uh, create a flipped image flipped image and uh, image dot trans transpose transpose and image dot Flip, flip, top, bottom, yes. So image, flip an image. Now I'm gonna change this to flip an image. And now it should be okay, yes. So I don't wanna type out every time I'm the sub the width and the height of the image uh, so I, I'm gonna make it a little bit more dynamic so as you see this image that width and image that height gives you the width and the height so instead of giving 450 and 450 here I'm going to give it image that width and the image that height. So now, I'm, when I'm changing the image, I don't have to type those values. It's now more dynamic. Okay, and I am gonna do the same for these, for these values 128, 24, 32, 32, 32. So I'm going to print the quad that item size, yes. So it will print 4 to the console. Yes, 4. Because it's the individual item is 4 byte. So now I need to multiply it with the length of the array. So 4 times the length of the quad so now it will give us 128 
128. Uh, yes, so I'm going to copy this. And change this to quad, the item size times the length of quad. And gonna do the same for the indices. So print indices, indices that item size times the length of indices in the series. so it will give us 24 and yes 24 so copy this and change this to indices that, that item size times the length of indices and the next thing is print uh, quad dot item size times eight so three six and eight in one row so it will give us this 32 32 <coughs> um, not responding so quad the item size times the eight So now it works the same, but it it is now more dynamic. So I can change, add another positions, another color, another texture coordinate, and I don't need to recalculate always how many bytes are there. And uh, one other thing I wanted to show you that we are not using this Invector new color, which comes from the colors here. So just gonna make a rainbowy smile by multiplying, multiplying the vector or vector 4 by this new color new color and it needs four values and the new color has three values so I'm gonna add an additional 1.0 so Now it's red, green, blue and the white mixed with the texture. So one additional information. I'm just created a GitHub repository for the code. So main.py contains all the code we wrote. Uh, in the videos from 1 to 5 and after that in the, we have the quad cube texturing the quad and the, using the pngs.py so you can download it and uh, but don't forget to if you want to use this code to change this texture to your texture because I'm not gonna upload uh, to github 
any JPEGs or PNGs, so any images 